All right, what's going on, Baywolf Nation? I know I'm mixed matching with, I'm Baywolf merch, but who cares? I threw out a shirt. I was wearing a hoodie and I took it off. It's too hot. Ford Crown Vic, police interceptor, P71 with a canine cage. We got ragged in here wondering why we're stopping and not moving. And uh, got some stuff in return. But uh, yeah, the whole point of the video is, uh, this is a massive trailer. So this, I think it's like a couple hundred pounds more than the Triton LT trailer, which is pretty, wild but um i need to get well just let's take a view in this look how much wider the trailer is than the car that's freaking crazy so it's like literally i mean it has to be a couple feet on each side so you have to be a little careful driving it because the vehicle isn't wide the trailer was wider than my jeep grand cherokee to srt the dogs are wondering where i went and uh so i have Tires look somewhat good, but I have tires I've been wanting to put on, so I want to go drop it off somewhere to get them mounted, check out the bearings on them, because uh, I'm planning on putting the stand up back on this and sell my Triton Wave trailer. But also, too, before doing all that, I wanted to see if this trailer could be pulled by the Crown Vic. So far, it's so good. It's just a little bit heavier than my other trailer with the ski, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it's the big thing is when everything's put on there, can it pull it? Their limit is 4,000 pounds. This trailer is like 2,000 something off the top of my head. So we're catching up to it. But with the little little stand up on the back, really won't make a difference. Um, so that's why I'm going back to this route because I plan on, if I want to do road trips, rent a vehicle, whatnot, with doing it, then you can put both skis back on it. And uh, I just all around really like this trailer and I was uh, like real set in selling it. And now I don't really want it. So uh, let's start driving and see how this all works. Because the dog is really impatient. She doesn't like to be caged. Anything that she feels like she's left alone, she panics. She wants to sit up front. You're okay, Ragna. Well, the interesting thing is it looks like it's pulling it uh, pretty pretty well. Uh, you just have to adjust your mirrors more inwards. The nice thing is I have plenty of uh, views of angles besides the uh, angles of the mirrors. Uh, but I have it where it's more farther in where I can see closer to more of the car because the big thing when you're driving a really wide trailer like this and it doesn't matter what you're in you could be a truck car SUV whatnot is you're just really paying attention to both your left and your right tires of your trailer uh, that you're not going over the line so you don't rub a curb you don't tap a car uh, especially narrow areas it's just a big thing to be you know, I've been so spoiled to be driving around single trailers uh, to be put back in a dual trailer. I, you almost forget all this stuff. You have to be really paying attention, looking side by side. And the vehicle's towing quite quite well. I mean, you can feel the weight in it that I re remember pulling it, uh, but there is no skis in it. Uh, but it seems to be pulling fine. It, Yeah, so it's crazy. So after going to the tire place, replacing the tires, it was weird because the last time I really used the trailer was when I took the road trip up to the Midwest uh, with both skis on it. And when I was driving it, I was like, man, this trailer sounded kind of weird. I couldn't put my finger on what the sound was coming from. So actually there was a like a bubble in the tire, which was pretty crazy. And uh, they're like, yeah, the tire almost popped. So like first I'm real lucky it didn't happen when I was on my road trip because I think it was like an 18 hour drive. Yeah, that would have really sucked having the tire popping and uh, at high speeds and whatnot. So definitely always with your trailers, uh, keep an eye on stuff. And even when the tread looks good in your tire, it doesn't mean the tire is still good. So definitely if you're planning on road tripping, always have a spare tire always get it inspected all the time because you never know what could happen luckily i already had a set of tires they were swapping it out and then the craziest thing so i wrote it was fine driving during the day with it to get an idea because when you have a wider trailer especially wider than your vehicle you got to pay attention a lot to your mirrors to make sure if you don't make one little mistake going over the line you could uh, scuff it up on the curb or you could accidentally tap a car and when I found riding it at night, there was like no way to know where the trailer was. I have all these cameras 
but you could not see it in both your side mirrors of having an idea where the trailer was. So I ended up being where I didn't feel comfortable keeping the trailer because first off, well, there's a couple of reasons. First off, where I live down in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, there's a lot of accidents and all the accidents are people getting rear-ended. Uh, there'll be like a chain. It's a, a like, anytime I go driving, I definitely am gonna see some type of rear-end accident where it's multiple cars in it. And that's one of the reasons why I never really felt comfortable with the dual trailer is, you know, somebody hits you, they'll take out both your skis. Uh, if you leave it at the boat ramp, you know, somebody could take, steal your other ski right off. And then it just came to where I plan on keeping the Triangle Wave trailer on the SXR 1500. And I got really spoiled riding around with single trailers because it like, even with the Crown Vic, you still have total control of the car. Like it's not even a trailer behind you. When you would just feel the trailer empty, you could feel the weight being pulled behind it. It was the same way with the Jeep Grand Cherokee the SRT that I used to have. You could feel the weight of that trailer when you're pulling. And when you pull the single trailers, it's not even like it exists back there. It's like you don't even know what's there. So to me, I have a little bit fonder with having it being a setup like that. But then at night, with the no visibility, I ended up actually selling the trailer. I sold the trailer for exactly, I think exactly what I paid for it new. Uh, which is a good deal. And it was like one of those spare of the moments. Somebody like really wanted it. And I'm like, oh man, do I really want to sell it? And I had a lot of people interested in the trailer, but I was like, oh, but I was just like, yeah, what the heck, let's do it. So I sold it because I just thought to myself, I, I was more concerned of what the car could tow with bolt skis on it. And I didn't want to go back to having just a dual trailer all the time and selling the Triton Wave trailer because this one's a 2020 trailer and then my Triton LT trailer behind me is a 2021 so I'm pretty much set uh, unless I plan on getting which I am looking at getting another ski I'm not sure what I really want to get I'm gonna start looking around probably the next couple of days figuring it out so I was like thinking to myself well then I sell the trailer I could easily put the ski in there but I was like well then I'd really be stuck having the dual plus two it was really hard when I was pulling when you had just a really light stand up you could feel the weight difference on each side where the more weight was when you have both skis on there. And I was just like, you know what? I'll figure this all out when I get to that step. Uh, definitely the Triton Elite trailer was nice. It's a lot bigger than the uh, their dual dual trailer they sell. I think it's the, oh, what is it? The LT dual one they got. It's a lot bigger. The, the Triton Elite is gigantic. And it's crazy because the guy who bought it had a GMC Sahara uh, 3500 Denali uh, dually uh, truck, exact same truck like I used to own. And I'm thinking like, man, this is gonna be perfect for you because it's like literally as wide as the dually is. And you'd be, it's like literally, it was, it was, I felt driving around the Crown Vic, I felt like I was having this long dually truck and the trailer was part of the dually. So yeah, I sold it and uh, off to new better things, I guess. Um, so if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Be driven to win. Check out uh, my merch store too, I am Beowulf.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Beowulf.